Hi Stampers, it's Christine Ludwig from Christine Stamping Spot. Happy to be back with you for another Mystery Monday video this morning. Um, so today we're going to do something fun with this stamp set. It's called Taco Fiesta. It is in our new annual catalog and you can find it here on page 52. It's kind of got the monkeys underneath it. Page 52, it's here at the top. Now it is a photopolymer set um, and it was designed by Erica Serwin, who is one of Stampin' Up's million dollar sales achievers. She's from the US, very, very talented. And she designed this set. Um, now, one little thing about it, it I love it, but it does not come with dyes. So you, you are gonna have to maybe fussy cut a few images if you want them to pop up, but it's not really a problem. A lot of these images are fairly small and compact, so it doesn't really take very long to fussy cut. So it's a really fun set. And the reason I chose this was because we celebrated my son-in-law's birthday this this past weekend and he loves loves Mexican food now we didn't actually celebrate with Mexican food although we did make some margaritas which was awesome <laughs> um but I kind of when I saw this set I thought I am going to get this and I'm going to make a birthday card for him with this set so I'm going to give you a sneak peek at this is the card uh, similar to what I made him and holy guacamole it's your birthday he thought this was pretty hilarious um, and it is a fun fold card it's actually a Z fold let's just move this stamp set out of the way it's a Z fold so when you open it you can kind of see the Z here all right, so we're gonna make one of these today, just switching up um, some of the designer paper, um, and we'll show you how to make this card. Um, so the designer paper we're gonna use is this one. It's bright and beautiful. It's from the annual catalog as well. Um, some really fun kind of birthday patterns in here, uh, from stripes to stars to all kinds of different things. So I pulled out two patterns. So um, we, I did kind of fussy cut some of my images and we'll get to those last. I'll just put them aside. And I will post all of these dimensions as well, but I'll just go through them quickly. And I think I have pre-scored these or did I not? Does not look like I did. So I guess we will do that too. Okay, so the background I chose was Lemon Lime Twist, which many of you or some of you might recall was one of our past in colors, but it is now one of our staples in our color family, and I love this color. Um, so we are going to start with our base. This is cut at 11 by 4 and a quarter. And we are going to score this at, hopefully you can see this on the camera. We're gonna score it at five and a half and at two and three quarters. Okay, so just line that up. You could use your scoring board if you like for this part. And then we have another piece also of Lemon Lime Twist, and this is cut at 10 by two and three quarters. And we're gonna score this as well at uh, seven and a half. Let me just get this lined up. Seven and a half and four and three quarters. I hope I did this right. We shall soon see. And that should be it for the scoring. So put our paper trimmer away. So this will be our base. So uh, we are going to fold this in half and give that a good burnish with our bone folder. And then the smaller score line, I think it is here, or is it on this side? It's on this side. We are gonna fold backwards. 
Okay, so your paper was like this, and then we are going to fold it back. So this will be our base. And then to make our Z with this piece, we are also gonna fold this in half and burnish it. And then, where's my other score line? It's over here. So this will make our Z, okay? So now what we can do is start to assemble. So first thing, I've used a different pattern of that bright and beautiful paper from the, um, from the book. And I, hopefully I have cut all the pieces I need. I might be a little bit short and I'm not sure how that happened. Maybe they're hiding. If not, I will have to cut a couple more. Wasn't very well prepared. It looks like I haven't done one of these videos for a while, so excuse, excuse me while I just check where all of my pieces are, but we can cut some more. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do, we have some basic white. This is five and a quarter by four, and we are going to put this on the bottom of our base at the inside. So we'll do this here and then I have a piece of that bright and beautiful designer paper which is a little bit large see I was not very prepared today okay so this might be a great time to show you how to cut this DSP so let me just find the coordinating pattern here I'm sorry about that I guess I do still need my paper trimmer. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna cut this piece at five and a quarter by four. So five and a quarter by, oh, see, I didn't even cut that quite right. Five and a quarter by four, how did that happen? Oh, sorry, I did that wrong. Five by three and three quarters. So I have the three and three quarters, but I did not cut it at five. Oh my goodness, this is quite the return back to videos. Okay, so that will go there. And then we needed, let me see my measurements here. We needed two pieces cut at four by two and a half, so I've got one, oh, not quite, four by two and a half. Oh my gosh, I don't know what I was doing when I was trying to prep this. Okay, and this will be four by two and a half as well. So we'll try to keep the stripes going in the same direction. And I'll do four. Okay, so we have two of those. And the last one is two and a half by two and a half. So let's see. Nope, that one's too small. We'll have to cut another one. So let's go. Sorry, two and a half by, yeah, two and a half by two and a half. Okay, so let's see. I have all of my pieces. I'm not going to put my paper trimmer too far, just in case I still need it. Okay, so we will put our long piece here. You can decide which colors you want to face up or down. So we'll use these ones maybe here. Now they're all a little bit different, but that's okay. If you were really OCD, you could you know, certainly try to match these up perfectly, but I'm not too picky about it. So let's add this DSP here on top of the white. And then we'll add these two on these smaller flaps. Right here. I hope I'm getting all this on the camera. And then our last one we will put here as well on this flap. Okay, 
So we'll set this piece aside and then we are going to work on our Z fold piece. Okay, so I hope I cut this right, oh my gosh. Okay, so for this one, we're going to add um, a couple of colors. So first off, we have a piece of white, which we will put on this end square. This is where you can write your greeting. And this is cut at two and a half by two and a quarter. So we will put that here. And then we're gonna put that other smaller piece of designer paper on that middle flap, this middle panel. Okay, so we'll do this. And then we are going to put a piece of white here, but I wanna stamp my greeting. And I'll use the same one I did on the other birthday card. And that is, holy, holy guacamole, it's your birthday. So I'm gonna do that in our memento black. Now there are, other, um, there are some other um, fun greetings in here. So you've got, uh, for another occasion, you spice up my life or your nacho average friend or long time no taco if there's someone you just wanna pop a card and say hello to. And there's different images to go with all of these different greetings. So it's really fun. Okay, so let's stamp our greeting on here. And I'm gonna put that a little more centered towards the top because I'm gonna add my little characters underneath. So we'll put it about here. Oh, that didn't ink up quite right. Okay, let's turn that over and re-ink that. Okay, put this about here. That's a little better. And then I thought I would add a couple of the little curly cues, uh, the little streamer patterns up here. They have some little streamers and candies and stuff. Thought that might be kind of fun for a fiesta kind of birthday card. So I'm gonna use Lost Lagoon. It's one of the colors that's in the DSP. So you can just pull out whatever colors. If you wanted to use, you know, a whole bunch of different colors, you could certainly do that, but I'm just gonna keep it simple and just put those two on. And then I am, oh my goodness, I just stamped it on my thing. Oh, can you imagine how crazy things are going with this video? So let's just cut another piece of white, shall we? Okay, <laughs> oh my gosh, when it rains, it pours. So let's cut another piece of the white. See, it's a good thing I have my paper trimmer handy. All right, so the white was two and a quarter by two and a half. Two and a half by two and a quarter. Okay. Let's try this again. Two and a half by two and a quarter. All right. Try not to drop my inked stamp on top of here again. All right, here we go. Okay. So then I am going to attach this and then I'll show you how we are going to assemble this Z piece so it, it um, folds out properly. I don't know if you can see this. Oh my gosh, probably shooting half of this off camera. Okay, there we go. Okay, so now what we wanna do is we wanna attach this so it's gonna form our Z. Now what you're gonna do is, I'm gonna add some adhesive, just adhesive, if you wanted to use tear and tape or, or glue, that works. But I'm not gonna stick this down just yet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna fold this and just give it an eyeball to make sure it's sort of centered between the paper and the top and bottom. And when I'm happy with it, I'm gonna stick this inside piece down, okay, like so. So then that piece is attached. Now we have to attach this front onto here. 
One thing to be aware of, do not put adhesive on the whole panel. Because if you do, when you go to close it, this part is going to get stuck in here and your card will not open. And we don't want that. All we want is for this front panel, this part of the front panel to be attached. So I'm just going to be conservative and just sort of put it towards the end. Fold this down, fold this over and press. And then, ta-da, it opens and you've got your Z fold. See your Z there? Pretty cool. This is a really great fun fold that you can do over and over with so many different stamps and for different occasions. It's awesome. All right, so now I am going to add my little characters on here. So I pre-did these, so I'll just show you what they look like. So I did, now there's a whole bunch to choose from, but I chose uh, the little avocado, the lime, the nacho chips, the guacamole, the hot pepper, and the sombrero. So I am going to, I did color these in with blends, sorry, I forgot to mention that. So however you want to color them, you can make a jalapeno pepper, color them green, or switch up the colors of the bowls and stuff, whatever you decide. Um, and just fussy cut them out. I just stamped them in memento ink and then just use the blends. And also, I'm just gonna put on his little sombrero. You can see there's a face on here. So in your stamp set, you've got these little different facial images here. So even a dude with a little mustache, the smiley face, the open mouth, another sort of winking face and a closed eyes. So on my little avocado, I made him with the open mouth. So I just stamped that image there. And then you'll see on the guac, he's kind of sleeping. And then the pepper just has the cute little happy face on there. So I just think these are super, super fun. So I want to pop these up. So I am going to use my dimensionals for that regular and the minis. So let me just turn all of these over. And we will add our dimensionals on top. And they are fairly, you know, smaller images, so we don't need a ton. Oops, this guy got stuck. That one on the guac, and then I'm gonna use some minis on the littler ones. So I'll put a mini on the lime and a couple of minis on our nacho chips. And one more here. Okay. And then we can put these on top of here. So whatever order you would like, there's no right or wrong. Uh, you know, you can even add more of one image, like if you wanted two of the avocados or two of something else, like whatever goes, it just makes it so fun and makes it so personal, right? For whomever you want to give this to. It's just a really, really fun set. And it was perfect for our son-in-law, for sure. And let's see, maybe I'll add the lime here, just kind of like that. And then lastly is our hot pepper right there. So there you go. Holy guacamole, it's your birthday. Just so, so fun. And you can easily switch up your DSP, whatever you have. And there's a little room here to write your greeting. So I hope you really enjoyed this card. I just thought it turned out great and was perfect. Um, so I do have a new host code for September if you're interested. Host code XPNJ6UBS. And my website is christineludwig.stampinup.net. You can also uh, find me on YouTube, Pinterest, 
and Facebook as Christine Stamping Spot. So I'd love it if you would follow me or like me on Facebook and uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. That would be awesome as well. And we will have another video for you next week. So have a great week, everyone. Bye for now.